to most sport guys, we're racing on to Autodrome Lago Maggiore GP. And we're using the Corvette C7 Generation 3 Stingray. So let's do this, let's play. Welcome one and all, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Wow, it's a bit of sun, but chilly. <laughs> so make sure you wrap up warm. And please, make sure you view the whole video. As always, we need to get 4,000 viewing hours. So I'd appreciate the view, the support, and the like. And thanks for watching, as always, guys. GT Sport is fast becoming a, uh, a fan favorite. And now, with the addition of more cars, more maps, and excellent uh, DLC being added for free, I feel GT Sport is finally shaping up to be the racing GT that we've always wanted. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. If you play GT Sport and have anything uh, fun to say or any comment to make at all, let us know down below in the comments. We'd love to hear from you guys. Being a big fan of racing myself, it's always nice to converse with my fellow viewers and fans. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Nice to have you on board. Alright, let's do this. Wow, we're still 11th. I tried an online race. I thought I was a bit tasty at the game until I went online <laughs> and found out that I was a total noob. My gosh, some of you boys uh, and girls who race online are really top notch at this game. Just putting that out there that I thought I had skills at the game until I went online earlier today and got totally wrecked. It's not to say I didn't race well. I raced, I put up a pretty good. Uh, Attempts, but um, some of you guys just weave around and you play like it's bumper cars. You guys know who you are. <laughs> All good. All right, here we go. We caught up some place, and this is the uh, second lap, so we're not doing too great. I like the Corvette. The Generation 3 is a nice car. It feels good, handles well. It grips the road nicely, may I, I may add. And it's not a bad car to race with. I've won many races. So what I've done is I've gone from the beginner and I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying my luck on the intermediate and hopefully the expert courses for more credits. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a little tougher than the usual. Oh, here we go. Oh, I slipped on the bend. Oh, here we go. Fifth. Let's go into this view. I love this view. Right, we slipped into fourth. Yeah, those three cars are a little too far ahead. Had there been an extra lap, um, I would have caught up for sure. Yeah, they're, they're a little too far and we're in the final phase of the lap. So I think fourth is probably going to be about as good as it gets for me. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Unfortunately, my PC is not uh, booting up, so I am unable to type comments and say hello like I usually do. Alright, there you go guys, fourth place. 
Sorry if I'm not actually um, responding directly. My PC's not uh, booting up. It's been a bit of a basket today for some reason. Alrighty, there you go. We've got the earnings there. Please give the video a like and give it a few view. Welcome to all new subscribers and esteemed followers. We here at Awesome Bob urgently need your help to reach 4,000 viewing hours. To appreciate the help, guys. We're a self-funded channel. We don't have the um, luxury of getting donations at the moment. And I'd love just to say, if you come across my channel, please like and subscribe and view the whole video. And thanks for watching. I'll try not to make the videos too long, that way it won't uh, take you too long to view. I'll keep them about 25 minutes, which I think is a good viewing time. Alright, let's have another go. You know what? I'm feeling lucky. I like the Stingray, the uh, Corvette. Let's do this. Oh man, what's going on here? Slow down. <clears throat> right, let's try and catch him up on the bends. I'm flooring this Corvette. I'm smashing it. <laughs> here we go, we caught up. As you can see, it's a nice looking car as well. Hmm. I don't usually race from the uh, race cam, you know, from behind the car view. But it's nice that they've done the handling to the point where I can actually race from behind the car where usually I would be all over the place in this view. So uh, hats off to my boys at Polyphony who have really listened to what the uh, fans have been saying. And as for the visuals, well, you guys can see this is, in my opinion, the best looking game of this generation in terms of the racing. Whoops, the car models that is. Whoa! Yeah, there you go. That's why I don't like racing in this view. <laughs> right, let's go back to this view. That's bound. Yeah, here we go. We're getting somewhere. Someone asked me if I play with a steering wheel, steering wheel or dual shock. Guys, I just use a standard dual shock. I saw how much the steering wheels were and I just bulked up the price. I went, no way. You know, they were like about £150 upwards and that's way up my budget, unfortunately. So let me know in the comments, if you guys use a steering wheel, which one would you recommend? If at all, like, you know, if you guys play the game, that is. Or the steering wheel. Oh, damn it, I skidded again. Alright, seventh. Oh my gosh, we're in the final lap. We're not going to do it, guys. What it is, I get so carried away with the with the visuals. Sometimes I just I forget to focus on the racing. It plays a different kind of game to Forza. May I add for those Forza fans that were asking me uh, who have got both, you know, PS4 and Xbox and or PC, is it worth buying? Well, 
Th that is purely subjective and your kind of choice. In my opinion, uh, yes, it is. It's gone down a lot in price, so uh, if you didn't buy it to begin with, uh, the game is, you know, a lot cheaper now, at approximately half of its original value, so it's always best if you don't buy the game straight away, wait a couple of months, it drops in price, as you guys already know. Whoa, 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 here we go. We made it back to fourth again. Typical. <laughs> I was watching some of the people play online, the way they took the corners, and it just amazed me just how how wicked they could just break on the bends and then speed up. It was like they had rocket cars. It was incredible, guys. If you've ever, if you've ever played an online race against real racers, it's totally different to playing against the uh, computer AI. Okay, we made fourth again. Dang it, so, so close yet so far. All right, let's try a different track. Now, they've got a lot of new tracks. I'm doing single races for today, so let's try. Yeah, let's try the Dragon Trail Seaside. And let's try. Hmm. Let's do an evening race. And you know what? I'm going to try the R18 TDI. This car, it has got my own livery designs and stuff, which I made using the livery editor. All right, let's try intermediate. I'm feeling kind of lucky, he says. Dragon control seaside, let's do this guys. Oh wow, this is a faster car. Woohoo, baby! Wow, this is fast. They, <laughs> the, the speed at which they catch you up when you bump it up a, a notch on the uh, score setting is scary. Oi, and they bump you. It's like playing an online race now. Look at this cheeky bugger. Get the F out. Wow, the, uh, that's a step up on the uh, skill setting. But you know the saying, you don't improve if you don't, you know, uh, step up, you know, switch it up a bit. And here we go. Right, 13th position. I'm going to aim for at least a top six. below what you think of the gameplay and of the graphics and the game as a whole. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Nice to see you on board and thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate the support and the likes, guys. Always a pleasure. I'm going to try and slip between them in the slipstream. Oh, yes, he does it. Wow, 
well and the engine sounds are just so incredible I've got a good headset and it sounds absolutely awesome oh so does the crashing oh that serves you right bump in the corner that'll teach you oh yeah oh he's hot on my tail he's not having none of it cheeky bugger all right here we go final lap we've made it to 10th Well, the competition is fierce, I have to say. And this car doesn't off-handle bad, actually. Oh, wow. Oh, he's lost it on the bend, giving me a small window of opportunity. So we're going to slip inside the cockpit view just to show you guys how awesome the game looks. Oh, yeah. We made it to seventh, so let's switch back out. Come on, I said six. Come on. Oh, look at that! Missed it by one. Wicked though. That was sensational. That race was sensational. I have to say, I thought the adrenaline there. That was really well raced I mean the Stingray the uh, Corvette felt nice but I felt the difference between that and the R18 TDI supercar and I have to say guys the uh, concept cars in GT Sport smash the ones that they're given as free DLC on Forza 7 if you have both games if you played them let us know what you guys think in the comments that's what the comments are for let your fingers do do type in and come and say hello Bob's the name and playing awesome games the game. Right, let's watch a replay. Right, that's why I lost it on the bend. Love, look at that luscious, gorgeous cars. This game looks great, uh, regardless of the PlayStation platform you play on. And even if you don't have a 4K and a PS4 Pro, it still looks blooming ace. Yeah, the replays are the best I've ever seen in a uh, next-gen racer, running a full fat 60. Even nicer than the ones running on the uh, supposedly more powerful Xbox One X and Forza 7. Yes, Forza fans, as much as you guys love to live in self-denial, take it from someone who's in the knowing on the technical aspect. Anyway, that aside, that was Dragon Trail Seaside racing in the R18 concept car. 
and it was a nice car to drive. It takes a little getting used to when you switch switch it up from a uh, a muscle car to a supercar, but it is what it is, man. That's that's half the fun and beauty of racing in Gran Turismo. And if you've ever played any of the previous GT Sports, uh, this is the logical evolution. This is Gran Turismo 7, or GT Sport as it's known in the uh, PlayStation circles. And it is a beautiful racing game. The community is, is thriving. I've seen some crazy racing online. I had a go today at uh, online racing, and I tell you what, it blew me away at just some of the skills that some of you guys possess. You guys are just crazy <laughs> on this game. So, yeah. That aside, I had a lot of fun racing, so uh, a big shout to you boys that raced me earlier. I still came in the top 10, so that was quite um, an achievement in itself, given the skill level of some of you boys and girls that were in the, uh, in the lobby. And if this is the first time you're viewing a live stream at Awesome Bob, uh, welcome. It is an absolute pleasure to see you in the uh, in the live stream. Alrighty, that was a great race, guys. What can I say? Oh, we completed the daily challenge workout. Oh man, what are we gonna get? Yeah. Bottom one, that one. Woo! Oh my god, I've been trying to get that car. The Aston Martin DP100. Mwah! Thank you, Lord. Oh, guys. What a way to end a stream, guys. Wow. What can I say? We got the Aston Martin. I've been trying to get that for like ever. Hi Simon, just got my PC's just starting to work by the way. Hi Sergey, hi hi one and all. Okay. You know I'm going to race that bad boy I just got. I'm going to do one more race for you guys. Just to say thank you for joining my stream. It's always a pleasure to race for you guys. Right, let's do a single race. And I'm going to race on... Oh, that's a new one. Willow Springs International. I've... One second, is that the one I'm thinking of? Oh, here we go. Mount Panorama. We're racing for fun today. Just chilling out. It's a weekend. And let's race this one noon. And I'm going to race that Austin Martin. I just... Uh, where, where'd it go? Let's see. Where are there, Austin Martin? Let's see it here. Oh, here we are. Austin Martin. Wow. Look look at the design. This car looks absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys. We're going to give this a quick go. We're racing for fun. So I've never raced this, but it looks very futuristic and very aerodynamic is the word I'm looking for. I'm going to go on the beginner because I don't think I'm ready for the uh, intermediate. Hi Franco, how's it going my friend? Welcome to my stream. Hi Sam, thanks for joining us babe. I apologise about earlier guys, my PC was not booting up so I wasn't ignoring you. 
I was just uh, going through the phases of blooming windows. All right, here we go, guys. All right, this is the Austin Martin. Oh, bumped it straight away. Oh, who bumped me from behind? Someone bumped me from behind. Oh, that cheek. Look at this. Look at this. These cheeky racers are going to get it. Here we go. And that's what it looks like. What a gorgeous looking concept car. Wow. Oh, look at this. It's not letting me park. Yep. We got into his slipstream. Alright, we're in seventh. Oops, so daisy. Let's go back inside. It's easier to uh, judge the distance. Because I'm not much of a cam racer. <laughs> oh yeah! That, that was a guy that bucked me at the beginning of the race. Right, here we go! Yes, into fifth. Right, and I can hit a helicopter over above me. Oh, this is a new course. It's got a very sort of like tight bends and uh, yeah. Right, we made it to third. Let's, let's go on the inside of the car. Does it have an in, in, inside cockpit? Oh, there's no cockpit view. What the hell? Okay, that's kind of strange. All right, let's go back to this view then. All right, we made it to first. Jesus Christ. Woo! We spun that. Blimey. That was uh, a little unexpected. Wow, guys. I that spun like a tumble dryer. Yeah, you know I make jokes about my streams and about my performance. All right, here we go. Back into third place after spinning. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Please leave a comment of inspiration and hi to everybody. Thanks for joining. All right, we're back in the first place. Awesome has done it again. What can I say? And this car handles quite nice, but it is a different type of racing. I've realized that with this car, you can't slam it into corners. Otherwise, as you saw there, the, the uh, rear wheels lock up and it spins out of control. Wow, this Austin Martin must cost a couple of cool million pounds because if it's based on a real life car, uh, then that car must cost an obscenely amount, huge amount of money. So let me know in the comments what you think of my awesome racing skills and thanks for joining me. That was, uh, that makes it after fun for racing for you guys. And for the first time I've raced this car, I think I'm doing pretty okay. But I hate to think how hard this level will be on the intermediate and on the uh, on the expert level. Must be quite scary. I tell you what. If you're wearing headphones and you go on this view here, it sounds like a, like I'm racing a rocket. Oh, oh, no, I've lost it again. Damn. Oh, come on, seriously. 
Yeah, that's what happens. That's what happens, unfortunately. Right, back into fourth. That's what I mean by you can't you can't slam it into the corners. Yeah, it handles so different to every any other car that I've played with. All right, twice I got into first and twice I spun it out of control. What can I say? Wow. Unbelievably unlucky there, guys. I thought I was going to be first and then had my dreams dashed, smashed it. Oh, well. Let's watch the replay. Yeah, here we go. These are the concept cars. This is the Austin Martin uh, car that I just unlocked today. And it looks incredible. I mean, I've never seen a car that looks like that. It must be a real, uh, I don't know, a real millionaire's car. Imagine owning that car, guys. But anyway, I have to love you and leave you. Thank you for joining my stream. And I will be... Uh, Live streaming some Monster Hunter World later this evening, uh, some more Yakuza Kiwami, which is a new game that uh, is part of the uh, Yakuza game. So if you've ever played Yakuza on the PlayStation 2 or a fan of those quirky Japanese uh, Yakuza games, please join us. And thank you to everybody, especially to Marco, who I haven't seen in a stream for a while. And to everybody else, and Simon and everybody, thank you. Just like and subscribe, please, and uh, mosey over to the channel and subscribe and watch the videos and help us achieve that 4,000 hour view time. Until the next video, guys, I'm going to say a big thank you. Have an awesome weekend, and hopefully I'll see you all in my stream later this evening. So until then, guys, God bless. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.